Where are we going? We're going to the boat. The boat. All right. Taking my six-year-old in with me because she's learning about it in school. Leaving the other kids with daddy because as much as I used to take everybody to go vote so they could experience it, there's no way I can take four kids in here. This <laughs> there you go. We voted. Oh, <laughs> oh you're so silly. That was a big bite. Now let's see if we can get any of that down your throat. <laughs> Come on, let's try to keep it in your mouth, okay, Quinn? Good job. Yeah, more? Mm -hmm. I wonder if she's going to be eating it by Christmas. Oh, for sure. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's okay. You're it's silly. Okay. You're learning. It's okay, Quinn. Yeah. That's why we have a bib on you. You're not in trouble. There you go. One more? Oh. Maybe it could fall in her pocket. Okay. That's Quinn's first meal. Yep. Bye. Quinn. Let me see my Quinny. Quinn. 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 Hey. Gwen, tell us what do you think? Not. Tell what do you think? Vote, 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 I think it's time to clean up from Halloween, but I don't want to. And I don't really have like Thanksgiving decorations. So what is the acceptable amount of time that I can leave Halloween out? Um, I mean, I have some little pumpkin things that I'll keep out for um, Thanksgiving, but I don't really have Thanksgiving decorations. Is there a way that I can multi-purpose things? I should have thought about that and only done like oranges and browns, but I did black and skulls and that's not very Thanksgiving or maybe it is really if you think about it, but um, <laughs> I don't know. So I have to find Thanksgiving decorations and put all these other things because nothing says Thanksgiving like this stuff. I don't know. Maybe I could keep the bird out. No, I, I probably, I can keep this like the pumpkin thing, but um, everything else. Okay, so I could probably keep these things. Maybe if I turn these around, then the, the candlelight won't show through. But those are cute. I could keep those out, probably. They're pumpkins instead of jack-o'-lanterns. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe I'm out of my mind. But that's going to be what I attempt. And everything else has to go. I bet everybody's tired out there. I'm really, really tired. I was napping with her earlier this week and I did fall asleep while I was holding her. I was so tired. Uh, but I, I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel and as much as I can't wait for the opportunity to sleep because it's been like six years since I've slept, um, I will miss this. I will miss little babies. Yes. <sighs> it is Thursday. Feels like a Monday. Um, I kind of wish it was a Monday because the week just flew by. We've got a ton of stuff going on this weekend. <sighs> and there are so many leaves in our yard. I mean, we don't have a yard. We have a giant leaf. And the mower's broken, so they can't be mulched. And I can't even imagine which of the children we would put out to rake nearly an acre and a half of leaves. <laughs> Maybe in a couple of years, but not now. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I think I will blow off all the walkways yeah. and the front gardens, but... Maybe I should just wait another week when all the tree leaves fall and then, I don't know. Also, maybe I want to take family pictures in the leaves. Who knows? So, don't judge me. I have a ton of leaves and I'm driving past all these yards that don't have any leaves. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm happy with the choices I've made and what to make a priority. And this year, it's not the leaves. Woohoo! I'm so excited! 
packages, 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 packages. It means there's a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm looking forward to it. Are you ready to go night night? No. No, you're not ready to go night night? Okay, you can go night night if you want. One of my jobs is I am a spokesmom for Brilliant Baby Products, and one of my favorite parts about that job is that I get to work with brands that I absolutely love and that we're already super familiar with. This one, Yuki Do, is like so great. We have a, a couple infant toys for our kids like this, but my favorite is this one. This is new to me. This um, this is the Submarine Spray Whale, and they have the best bath toys for kids. This is, I think, our third bath toy from them. <laughs> I'm really excited for my kids to see it. I love that they're battery operated and they just have this flow of water so like my son will not let us turn the water off on the bathtub so a good alternative are these toys and like they can spray they have water bubbling up like a fountain and swirling around just to we bought this play foam for our kids two or three years ago when we went to the chicago toy and game fair it was one of those things that they could not get enough of. We sat there and played with it for a long time. And so we sneakily went over and purchased a big kit. I think this might actually be the one we purchased. Um, or I think ours was bigger because we had more than eight colors and some of ours had glitter. But my kids love this stuff. So I'm so happy to be able to share this with the Wish TV audience tomorrow. I had this whole plan where I was going to get this laundry um, thing down where I would have this whole system for getting my laundry done. And it's something I've struggled with forever. Um, I don't have a system. I tried. I tried. I am still trying. If you have any tips, that'd be great. But here's my new system. And I know not everybody can do it, so it's really not even worth sharing in like its own separate video. But I do all my laundry on Thursday and Friday morning, and then my babysitter folds it and puts it away on Friday. Isn't that great? I know, it's brilliant. She just started doing it, and I love it, and I love her for it. It makes life so much easier, it really does. So get all your laundry done on one day, fold it all the next day, or fold it as it comes out, but I can't do that. Like, I'm always just shifting loads in between stuff. I can hardly even shift the loads, I'm so busy and like someone's always needing something. You know how that is. So I'm very lucky to have a babysitter. Super fortunate and I know that. And especially to have a babysitter that will do that for me. Yes. What? Hi. Hi. All right, back to my world's okayest mom dinner. We're having shrimp scampi. So we're having shrimp scampi right out of a bag from the freezer section because I just can't even handle it. And then another freezer bag. So exciting here. Steam fresh broccoli. So hopefully they eat it. Ooh, there's a spill in the microwave. Hey! <laughs> it's Friday night and I'm here with Lulu. We are getting ready for my TV segment tomorrow yeah. on Fox. We're talking about snacks. So I'm just going to stand here and prepare for my segment. She loves here too. So. and early on Saturday morning. I have been up, <laughs> it's been dark out since I got up, but I am in the green room at the Fox 59 studios for the morning show where I am showing off some good snack ideas, creating a snack bin for your kid, as well as this really cool service that just launched in Indy where they deliver um, lunches to your home that you can just toss into your kid's bag um, for school lunch. And they're healthy, they're beautiful, 
and they're really creative and clever things that I never would have thought to pack for my kids, but yet they're things they'll still eat because they're things that they love. So I'll be on in a few minutes and I'm all set up and ready to go. I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. Um, I never have, and I don't really like the things that taste like coffee. And so it's been really hard for me to find like a hot drink and everybody always wants to go out for coffee and I don't. Let's go out for wine. <laughs> so anyways, I have a sample of a pumpkin spice mocha from McDonald's and I drank the whole thing. And it did taste like coffee. But it also tasted like pumpkin and spice and milk and goodness. So here I am, like the fifth day in a row, getting pumpkin spice mocha at McDonald's. And not all of them still have it because they've moved on to the peppermint mocha, which I'm not going to get addicted to coffee. I can't. I can't handle another caffeine addiction in my life. But the one McDonald's by my house still has their pumpkin syrup. So I'm here and I'm getting it. And I realized that the more I buy, that means the less they'll have in the future, but it's gonna be gone like any day now because no other McDonald's that I've gone through has it, just this one. So it's only November 12th. I mean, we're still drinking pumpkin. There's still pumpkins like Thanksgiving and stuff. So um, I don't wanna try it anywhere else because like I said, I cannot handle having another caffeine addiction. Like this is it. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna pay for my pumpkin spice. And I just know one of these days I'm gonna come up and be like, never mind. Good morning, you're a large mocha and a small mocha peppermint? Uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin, okay, 6.30. It thank says you. special request. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You have a great day. Thank you, you too. Okay, see? They try to push the peppermint on me. I don't wanna do the peppermint. I'm sure it's delicious, but... I'm in my 30s. I've never drank coffee, and now, like, this is it. Like, don't push this other stuff on me, just the pumpkin. That's all I want. Uh, pumpkin, right? All right, thank you. You too. Yay! Cheers, everybody. I'm gonna be keeping this in my car, snack storage in my car. So I think I've shown you all this before, but this is our lunch packing station snack storage usually, but this is gonna be special for the car, I think. Scout, what are you eating? A waffle. What kind of waffle? What's on the waffle? Some butter and jelly. What do you think of it? Good. Good. Look at all this other stuff that we have from the other packs. There's a quesadilla dip with carrots. And you picked the melons. And then look at that yummy corn and pepper salsa. Yum, yum. Mmm. We have the best yard that I could ever wish for, but there's all these leaves. <laughs> I don't even know if it's worth trying to clean them up today because we have all these leaves up there still. So, I don't know. It's okay, it's not like I get them all cleaned up today anyway. Totally worth it though. They have so much fun in this yard. I have a couple mums plants that came back this year. So, and they came back really nice. So I took all my old ones out of the pots and put them in here. 
and I'm hoping that they're gonna come back in 2017 so that would save a lot of money because they're like five or six bucks each and to have to buy them every year is so expensive I can already see one that's probably not gonna come back but maybe it'll surprise me so there's about three or four that I'm hoping will make it otherwise it'd be great if all of them did <laughs> What is that? We have a really deep mattress and the corners of the sheet keep popping off so we bought these suspenders for it. Let's see if they work. Another pancake. What do you want a pancake for? Quinny and I are all snuggled up in bed watching The Real Housewives. All right, I'm watching. She's not because that would be inappropriate to let my baby watch The Real Housewives. Right now, I'm watching Beverly Hills, and I know it's so trashy. But I can't help it. Like, I just love when there's drama that has nothing to do with me. And I can just turn my brain off and not worry about things for a while. 